Okay, I got a chance to finally work on the project a little bit. Wanted to show you guys where I'm at. Installed the pulleys. Hopefully you can see that. Well, they're not completely done, but... Put that one in there. Grab the cable from... It's just tight on there right now, but I'm going to um, swedge it on there. Show you the swedger I got from eBay on the cheap. And then the uh, cable runs down here and uh, temporarily just put the boat winch on there. That won't be its final location, but I just made use of some bolts that were already there and right there and right there temporarily. But eventually it'll move over to the left a little bit so it lines up with pulleys. So pretty cool. This this is a 3 16 3 3 16th, uh, inch cable it should handle about maybe 630 pounds with the <coughs> swedger. Once I swedge uh, you know a more beefier hook than this that's for sure onto this into this cable. And I'm going to change this little cable out too. This not really the load living on that's too small. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, show it from this side maybe a little better. So that's the cable runs up there, runs up to that pulley. over to the other pulley. Right. Comes down. Goes around the boat winch. And uh, it's just kind of sitting there for now. Right. This uh, swedger from eBay. They got a bunch of Chinese made really low quality junk that I had no interest in buying, but this one's made in Japan, so the quality's a little bit better. It's from ARM. And uh, you basically just stick a little aluminum um, swedger gosset or whatever in there. And this one I'll be using the thickest uh, diameter. Then you stick the wire through there and you just cr cr uh, crimp it down. You crimp it like three times and it swedges the wire to whatever you're, in this case a big hook. I think I got this for like 90, 80 or 90 bucks on eBay. They usually it's a little bit used, you can see a little rust on there, but um, they usually run about 150 to 200 dollars. And the pneumatic ones are several hundred bucks. And they can go all the way up to thousands of dollars. They're really expensive ones. So this was a pretty good deal for me. Got a good, got it for a really good price. Used. Looks like it's going to do the job. So uh, yeah, just want to show you guys where I'm at. Made a lot of progress here. Today's a warm day, so we got a chance to do some work here. Cool stuff. I'm going to. Uh, these pulleys right now are just. Uh, they're just sitting on a sleeve. You know, this pulley just can slide around up there. Right now there's tension on it so it doesn't slide very well, but they can slide around this sleeve. So I gotta cut these sleeves down uh, to the proper length so they'll fit, you know, just inside and not stick out like that. And then, um, once I'm done doing that, I'll see if I can find a little split locker collar, kind of like this one here. Um, 
for half inch. I don't know if they make them, but I'll check because the, this threaded rod is half inch right here. I'll just lock down the split collar on each side of the pulley, this side and the, and the other side, so that it won't move around. I'll leave a little bit of play in there, but that should do it if I can find them. If not, I, I'll have to just use um, some jam nuts and space them properly, but it should, be, should work fine. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, should be able to more than double the weight. We'll see whether or not the boat winch. It's rated for 1,100 pounds, but we'll see. I'm a little, I'm a little bit questioning whether it can handle six or 700 pounds. But we'll find out. And then I'm also questioning whether or not this structure will hold all that. But I'll add weight little by little to this whole system. We'll just see what happens. Start with it just a few inches off the floor. So if it, so if it does break and crash, it doesn't doesn't injure anybody and only falls a few inches. But uh, yeah, cool stuff. I'll make another video once I'm. Once I get something worth uh, showing you guys. All right, guys. Cool. Thanks for hanging with you always. Uh, peace out.